we're back in Grenada, the island of skipjacks and mangoes and mountains, and we're here to see one thing for the very first time and talk about anticipation. We met Shen right here two years ago. She had spent her entire life crawling on all fours. But now the big hope to see Shen walking on her own. Without holding a walker? Yeah. Without holding crutches? Yes. All by yourself? Yeah. But what a blow. We go to see Shen this trip and she isn't walking. She's in the hospital, her feet badly infected. All closed, two dollars a bag. And after all the work back in Jacksonville. Be a five, keep it. Thank you very much. We raised $16,000 to help her come here for surgery. Shen had 23 hours of surgery. I was scared. 13 pins. Just like big, thick nails. They had to turn the pins to straighten her legs. It went on for 12 weeks every day. Two, one, one, two, two. Three. I'm sorry, honey. I am here. You don't have to worry, I can see. So many of you well, poured out your hearts to Shen. I'll be there But the word from her doctor in Grenada, just wait and hope for healing. Anticipation drives you crazy. But as fishermen know, waiting can pay off. And during our wait, it did. We saw this story is bigger than Chen walking. You remember before we left, our Shen chain in Jacksonville. Eight hundred and thirty-three. How proud are you, really? <laughs> <laughs> we are this proud. <laughs> Kids did chores to earn money for Shen. You sent dollars with me for Shen and also 12 girls she lives with now at this special home. The girls sexually abused. Wow, look at that. But when they saw your chain look, they were overwhelmed. <laughs> it's quite amazing. You gave enough for boxes of soap and underwear and for shopping money. 37 U.S., that's $100 Eastern Caribbean for each girl. Thanks for the $100! <laughs> and what did they buy? School uniforms and socks. And this is her very first bottle of perfume. This was sweet! <laughs> But back at the hospital, we're still waiting to see if Shen can walk. So we give her kind of a test. And this is your $100 challenge. A Jacksonville woman sent this to Shen with a note. Teach children how they should live and they will remember it all their life. But a $100 bill, I asked Shen, now honestly, do you want to keep it? She said no. Because God says to share. Do you have an idea? Mm, I think so. Her idea? Three friends she's met in the hospital. They have rheumatic fever and sickle cell anemia. I want to get something special for you. <laughs> Melissa's dream, her very own red dress. Wow. And Cindy wants to be an artist. No, I never had my own paints before. <laughs> You've never had your own paints before? So you have a title to your painting? What is it? A beautiful bouquet. Yeah. A beautiful bouquet. Shen gave up her money to buy me this, and it makes me feel so happy. Shen has learned to give, and watch this. Thank you, Shen. <laughs> She's learned something else. Can I read the letter you wrote me? Debbie Sells is Shen's therapist from Jacksonville, back in Grenada to check on her. You were there for me when I needed you. When I was sad, you made me happy. You are kind to me and generous. You are my world. Love, love Shen. Already so much accomplished. It can happen. People working together and the rewards abundant. Thank you. 
but we came to see Shen walk. So she gets new braces and she is itching to go. I'm going to walk. It's good news. The infection from trying to walk barefoot is gone. She's healed. And the moment finally, finally comes. Give me big hugs for good luck. I love you, 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 I love you. Okay. Okay. You ready? Let's go see everybody. Come on outside. Look how great you look. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm really happy. Do you remember what you were doing last time you were by this red wall? Mm -hmm. What were you doing? I didn't. It is anticipation fulfilled. I just like to be up high. I like you up high too.